Okay, so I'm making this painting for my friend Mikey. He basically wants uh, the painting where it's like, there's like a moon, and then like, there's like, he wants two dolphins jumping into a, into a wave, and then he wants like a, a seascape type of deal. So, I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so we're gonna start. This one might take a while. I don't know, it's just a really large painting. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. This is straight line. Let's just take a can. And then make a pink sky. So, a pink sky here. Alright, then we have like our moon. And obviously, it's like. This is our sky. Alright, this might not look the same exact, but like I'll try my best. Because the photo is on my phone and I'm using it as my camera. Alright, so we have that. Then we're going to add some clouds. Alright, we're going to add some clouds next. So just make a cloud stencil. Like this will do. Alright. Okay, so basically you're gonna add some clouds. Um so here I'm adding some first I add some metallic pink, then I add some red, and then I'm gonna put some white clouds over it so it covers. So it looks like the white's on top. Okay, so we're gonna reveal our planet. Alright, so this is what it looks like right now. We can even add some more texture if we wanted to. Add a little bit more texture. Alright, so this is what it looks like right now. Okay, next. There's three different parts to this painting. There's the sky, there's the wave, and then there's the, what do you call it? Like the under the sea. All right, so next we're gonna do the wave. Okay, you need your white, you need your crystal clear. So basically this is what you wanna do. I'm running out of blue. This will be the color of your wave. So the higher the wave is in the air, the lighter it's going to be. So the top is going to be the lightest part. So we're going to start off from here with light blue. We're just going to go like this. Towards the bottom is going to be a little bit darker. Okay, this is crystal clear. At the top, we're going to add some white. Okay. Then you want to add a lot of crystal clear. Like so, like you have like a puddle. Then you want to spray some white again. Just let those mix in. You can help it a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, so next step. So it looks like the white's on top. Okay, so we're going to reveal our planet. Alright, so this is what it looks like right now. We can even add some more texture if we wanted to. Alright, so add a little bit more texture. Alright, so this is what it looks like right now. 
Okay, next. There's three different parts to this painting. There's the sky, there's the wave, and then there's the... What do you call it? Like, the under the sea. Alright, so next we're going to do the wave. Okay, you need your white. You need your crystal clear. So basically, this is what you want to do. I'm running out of blue. This will be the color of your wave. So, the higher the wave is in the air, the lighter it's going to be. So the top is going to be the lightest part. So, we're going to start off from here with light blue. We're just going to go like this. Towards the bottom, it's going to be a little bit darker. Okay, this is crystal clear. At the top, we're going to add some white. Okay. Then you want to add a lot of crystal clear. Like so, like you have like a puddle. Then you want to spray some white again. Just let those mix in. You can help it a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, so next step. So you have crystal clear on this. Yeah, make it all wet. All right, then with the fan brush, just drag down. So drag down, like in a circular motion. All right, so you basically have this. Okay, now, we have to add some spray at the top of the wave, like there's like little mist, like coming up from the, what the, okay, like there's like little mist coming up from the wave, like a little bit of spray, so we're going to do this, so just poke a bunch of holes, and just like, So, I'm going to spin this around carefully. This is what this looks like right now. Okay, basically on this part, you want to create like a waterfall. So, here I'm mixing in my colors. And then I'm going to grab like a note card. And I'm just going to like just drag down. Just make a general outline where like the crashing wave is going to be. So here I'm grabbing my note card, folding it up into fourths, just drag down. It's okay if the colors underneath reveal, like that's fine. So here I add some more color so I know where it's gonna be. Add some white to like for like a little bit of a wave effect, and then just drag down. Also, after this, we'll add some metallic blue to make it a little bit darker. So you want to basically make this look darker. Then to fix it up, you can add some purple even. Uh, a little bit of purple, so that looks nice, that looks really nice. Okay, then we're going to make the water. So, for the water, we're going to make the line right here. Got some green, add all your different blues. Let me see. We'll add whatever's left of this. All right. Then with another index card, just make your waves. You 
can even spray some crystal clear on this. Spray some crystal clear. Just sway from side to side. So you made your water. Finally, the last step for the wave is to basically add like a little bit of foam at the bottom. So take some white. Take a lot of white with your fingers. I like to go like this. This top. And then the more you tap, the more it's going to show up like foam. You can add in different layers with your fingernails. You can add in some different shapes, like sometimes you can just grab like a piece of note card and just move up and down, you know, make some jagged lines if you want. That's if you want. I'm not going to do that. Alright. So, finally when we have that, we're going to add like all of our fish and junk in here. So, next we're going to add some detail. So make this all wet again. Just make some plant life. See an anemone here. Just some plant life is good. Alright, next, if you want, you can grab a tint color and try to tint. I always like to tint my plants. You can do that too. If you want. So next. I'm gonna try something different. I'm trying I'm gonna try to add like a brain coral type of thing. So I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. Okay, so this is how we're gonna add it. Okay, so this is how you add a brain coral. Green. Light green. Clear. Then you definitely need a white. Alright, so we're going to make the brain coral in this corner. We're going to make it rather small. So add your green. Some green. 
Then you're just going to add a white ring around that. So a white ring. And then this is all you do. Take the newspaper and just go over that like that. Wow. I should probably, you know what, I'm going to do this. So, so we're going to dry this part in the corner. Add some green. Add some white. Newspaper. light touch over that's all you need all right then to make the brain cool you just add like some random like little squiggly lines so i'll show you So look here, I'll show you at the end of the video, but basically you just add a bunch of squiggly lines there. So we have a coral reef. Have... So we added a starburst there. All right, then we have to dry it again. Obviously, we need, we need to fix the starburst, we will. Okay, so now we're gonna add our wonderful animals. So you need a black. And we're gonna use this brush. All right, so I like to start with a black. So a black, here's what it looks like right now like that so uh, I'm not very good at drawing dolphins yet but like I can try my best so let's try my best so there's this tiny dolphin So like jumping into a wave. That's a love right there. So I'll mix black and white to make gray. Then on the bottom half of your dolphin, you kind of want to highlight his belly. So once you did that, we're going to add the other one. This guy is going to be a little bit bigger. Next, clean up your brush really well.
because we're going to be adding white. So a little bit of a white highlight. So obviously the sun's coming from the top. So the top is going to be wet. So like the shine, so the water's going to shine from there. So like on the head of it, on the beak, on the fin, on the tail. All right, next we can add like some little tiny like splash marks that they're making. Oh, I forgot their arms. Okay, so we're going to add their arms. I'm like jumping into that wave. Okay, then we have to add a dolphin at the bottom. So he's going to be right here. Mix in some white. So here's that dolphin right there. Okay, finally we're gonna add some final detail. I don't know if I added this on the last one, but what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add some light shining. So there's that. And then we need our straight up. Makita 2015. Alright, so voila. This is what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be drawing in a turtle. If it turns out well, I'll take I'll post a picture. But other than that, this painting is done. Uh, this one's a little bit longer because like has a lot of detail, but uh, hopefully you guys got it. But that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.